I can see some sharks. What's up guys welcome back to another day at sea and hope you're doing absolutely fine and amazing uh, I did I did not vlog for the past five days because uh, I had a bit of struggle with my Instagram and I got really demotivated because I worked so hard for it and I reached 9,000 followers and then suddenly someone tried to you know hack it and my Instagram account got disabled and the fact is that uh, for verification you need a sim card which I had but there was no signal because we are we were in the Indian Ocean so you can imagine my mind was like uh, will I be able to retrieve it or not so that played a lot mentally and uh, yeah so uh, we are in Red Sea right now and today I'll show you why Red Sea is called Red Sea is it red or not <laughs> and it's so hot the sea, sea water temperature now is 36 degrees or something like that and I have to use two fans one is here I just woke up so don't mind the bed and the other here so that's how uh, we are sleeping these days so um, air con Tomorrow we have a global safety day so I'll see if I can you know uh, put something in this blog about this and this is my uh, fruit for today and we've got jackfruit I don't know India man, what it's called, it's called I think Gatte Ghi Sabji or something man. but India ship way that you're getting this it's unbelievable because apparently Captain Marston he likes it so he ordered it specially and uh, I'm going for my watch now and Guys it's so hot that I need to put this blind, these blinds down because uh, otherwise the bridge it starts getting really hot got stuck why you took us gaya lagi okay now it's back so yeah so now uh, i'll just take over from the chief of series over here and then uh, do my watch so guys here we have benedict and uh, he's going to be doing chipping today outside the bridge wing and trouble us with some noise <laughs> but that's the pp he used so uh, helmet most important, the ear mask because it's going to make so much noise with the safety glass especially because safety glass, this, uh, the particles you know they start flying in your eyes so he has to be safe. We've got a lot of accidents where the uh, particles have gone inside the eyes and it's total dis disaster. Uh, he's going to get the chipping gun soon, oh there's the chipping gun. That's the air valve from where the air is taken into the gun I'll stay away and uh, he's doing chipping right over here So yesterday he uh, painted the starboard side and now he's on the port side and You can see the freshly That's the, oh, that's the fresh coat of paint which you did and he's going to be doing that that side and that's Red Sea guys and I'll show you uh, better when I go on deck so guys now uh, Benedicto my AV he's done the chipping so I'll show you how it looks once it's de-rusted so you can see you know all the rust gone and now what he'll do is he'll apply the first coat which is lying here and after applying the first coat, he will then uh, apply uh, two or three coats depending. So it's a long process, it takes two days to do the entire thing. And that's how surface preparation is more, most important for you know de-rusting and all of that. So as a third officer, I'm learning all this. So once I become a chief officer, I know you know. So guys, my watch is done and the second officer is taken over now. And before I go, I'll show you the primer. Oh, that's the primer. And you can see uh, that still and uh, I feel tired but we have to go on the deck do some work and I have to show you red see if it's red or not and uh, yeah I'll see you on deck guys before we go to deck uh, I have to go and eat food but before that I have this foosball tournament uh, list which I have to post it and you know I'm in charge of this so I have to uh, ask the guys to fill up and then we'll play foosball you must have seen in one of my videos that we have some entertainment things then after that, after eating food, 
we'll go to the deck so guys helmet is on pba is on and so let's go and break the myth of the red sea let's see if it's red or blue or white or green okay there it is <laughs> guys it is uh, as blue as indian ocean or atlantic ocean or mediterranean sea or whatever so uh, i'm not quite sure why they call it red sea but i did some research google is our best friend of course the red sea is called red because sometimes you know uh, there is this bacteria i forgot the scientific scientific name or algae kind of thing which is red in color so it so it the water starts looking red and also i heard that the water sometimes gets so crystal clear that you can see the red uh, corals beneath one crazy job guys uh, christopher he's been doing this this since uh, two, two or three days you can see this uh, roller yes removed he is removed it from the below bottom with the help of this chain blocks and you can imagine the weight christopher how much must be this wing it's quite heavy right like uh, really heavy heavy stuff 90 tons uh, this is the safe working load so you can imagine the weight required for this roller and now what he is doing is basically you can see this uh, sharp kind of a thing he has to grease it because before this it was not greased and uh, the roller could not move around so uh, he is going to be doing that and uh, yeah he, it's a tough job and he has been doing this since past uh, one week doing this since one, one week have a look at the size of this hammer guys <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy sledgehammer. So you can imagine the strength. Uh, he has to beat this uh, from this hammer, you know. <laughs> uh, I came forward, you know, to uh, get a better glimpse of the sea. I know it's quite hot and uh, it's quite humid. In fact, the accommodation or air, con air conditioning is just not able to cope up, guys. You must have seen my video in uh, Dubai. Uh, Jebel Ali or Abu Dhabi I made one if you not just check that out my god you had a compressor problem and then finish and uh, it's still not working so well so that's the red sea one fact here which I read was that uh, this uh, sea consists of the world's fastest uh, fish it's known as the solitary sail fish fish which can uh, you know uh, uh, sail up or not sail swim up to 68 uh, miles per hour this is as per the Google why <laughs> and uh, it's amazing and it's got like 40% uh, of the shark population is uh, here and uh, no 44 types of species species and only uh, 20 20 types are found only in this red sea so it's amazing I, I, I think I can see some sharks <laughs> I cannot see anything <laughs> but yeah sharks inside I don't want to go there also another fun fact was this water is 35% saltier than any other water so you can float on this much easier and uh, it also has a lot of health benefits like the captain he was uh, swimming swimming uh, he filled up the swimming pool and started swimming 6 o'clock in the morning somehow today and <laughs> now I know why because uh, it's got a lot of health benefits and you can see how fast you are sailing That was the bulbous power of our Emma and yeah there she's sailing along nicely and now what I'll do is I'll go do my jobs and uh, you have to put some uh, IMO symbols on the fire hose boxes Hold with us Can you see her? There she is Did you see that bird? I don't know how it's surviving in this heat It was so damn hot but yeah I was saying uh, it's like we are in a movie and there is a desert instead it's a water body like a water desert and it's so so incredibly hot and humid my god but it's fun I like the feel of sailing when you when, when there are tough conditions and you know uh, there is something out of the ordinary in today's job what I have to do is you can see the new fire hose box here and I just have to uh, put this symbol Guys, uh, this is done. Looks good. When I was going down, I saw, I saw this uh, beautiful uh, shadow of a container falling on the water. Can you see? Uh, this is like the lashing bridge, and in between this spot, there's the containers. So uh, it's such such an amazing sight, and you can see uh, Emma making a uh, way. 
so let's freshen up wash your hand and go up rest for some time and go to the gym workout and when i was just you know coming up i realized the sunset is about to happen and it is looking so beautiful have a look at that and by the way this is the belt i was talking about you know uh, because you see the ship sometimes it starts rolling left right so uh, then you have to you know make sure your back is fine because if you get injured then it's really really bad but you know after a long riding day hot day and you see a sunset like this and you know uh, wind is blowing and sorry for the voice uh, you know in the interference this is just beautiful guys just beautiful Want to show you guys the red sea where we are exactly so you know that uh, it was red sea and not uh, something else so that's the exodus and that's the blip we have and so guys i had lachha paratha today with uh, some kind of chicken masala the cook tried to make it was not bad and uh, tummy is full mind is happy so if you like this video for whatsoever reason do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i will see you back another day at